I just always saw having to deal with like my curly kinky hair as an inconvenience as opposed to you know something to be celebrated. I feel like through my artwork I've started to see the community that I had. Hi I'm Khadija and today I'm here celebrating World Afro Day. I'm originally from Senegal, I was born in Norway and I moved to the UK about four years ago for uni um, and I've just graduated having studied art and English literature at Reading Uni. And so I'm just going to be talking about my relationship with my hair and especially how it's become really central to me this year because I've been exploring um, the history behind black hair and my relationship to it through my art practice. I've grown up living between Europe and Africa and I found that even living in a community that was predominantly black I still didn't see afro hair as the norm. I just always saw having to deal with like my curly kinky hair as an inconvenience as opposed to you know something to be celebrated. So yeah even living in Africa I just never really met many people who you know had their hair in an afro and I didn't feel like there was very much representation of that in general. So I distinctly remember the moment that I decided to stop relaxing my hair. I was about 15 years old and I was like flicking through the TV channels and stumbled upon a documentary. Um, it was Good Hair by Chris Rock, but he was basically exploring um, the history of straightening your hair and like what is in like hair relaxers. And I just remember being so shocked because it was just so normal. Like I'd go to the hairdresser and you know, if I had a bit of growth, they'd always encourage me to be like, oh, come back and get your hair relaxed. So it was the first time I really started to think about why I even wanted my hair to be straight in the first place. So once I stopped relaxing my hair, it was just like a moment of having to like think about how to deal with hair I'd never dealt with before and I didn't really know a huge amount of people that did. That's when I stumbled upon like the natural hair movement on YouTube, which I think was getting pretty massive at this point and yeah and it was so fun to like actually start to learn how to take care of your hair and like how to style it in all different fun ways that I'd never considered before. I do feel like my journey with my hair is just constantly evolving because I started doing um, my artwork about my hair this year and because I just started learning about you know the history of like afros as um, political symbols during the Black Panther movement and I realised I never really thought about you know the political history behind having natural hair and because I, I guess I've only ever thought about my hair as an individual and not really as something political um, and that was really interesting to start thinking about within my art practice because there was a bit of a tension where I was like to me it's not really political this is just like you know who I am and it's really difficult sometimes to really think of such a personal part of yourself as something political um, but at the same time it was really interesting to learn all the history um, and it was really quite empowering to know how much symbolism there can be in it sometimes. One of the most valuable parts of my art practice being about my hair this year was especially towards the end of my degree. Um, I started to think about my relationship with other black women after reading Emma DeBerry's book Don't Touch My Hair because I was just amazed at how much I could relate to everything she said. Um, so for part of my piece I did portraits of a couple of my friends and of my sister and also sent out some questions and made a sound piece with all of their reflections on their hair. And it was just really beautiful because a lot of my friends, some of them had never met, they'd grown up in different parts of the world, but that there was always quite a similar narrative and it was just so like empowering and amazing to just think that there's such a strong connection between us through this one experience and that you know I feel like through my artwork I started to see the community that I had and yeah it was just amazing. I think the word I choose is just that it's me because I've just been through so much with it that like I've just realised how much actually so much of how my personality has changed or how outside media and forces have influenced me I can just see that through my hair like just the way I treated it the way I felt about it like everything that has affected me I guess growing up somehow is sort of seen through how I felt about my hair so I would just say that my hair is just me <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and celebrating World Afro Day with me. But yeah, if you want to see more from me, um, you can follow my personal Instagram, which is at Khadija Cecile. Or if you're more interested in seeing my artwork, you can follow my art Instagram at Khadija Cecile Art or check out my website, 
which is Khadija Cecile dot art. And yeah, feel free to DM me with any questions or anything. And I hope you enjoyed. Bye.